morning and welcome to Cybrary's CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner uh, Preparation Course. My name is Kelly Handerhan and I'm your subject matter expert. I currently, of course, hold the CASP certification, CISSP, Project Management Professional, and several other security related uh, certifications. So I want to welcome you and uh, we'll be going through the following material uh, throughout this class. So there are seven basic domains that we'll be covering. Uh, the very first one we're going to start with is going to be cryptography and cryptography related tools. The second that we'll be discussing is a very, very large topic called enterprise computing. And this is uh, essentially all those elements for consideration when you're in an enterprise network. So when we talk about an enterprise, we're generally talking about a large scale environment and you can certainly see that that would cover a large variety of topics. Everything from network authentication, cryptographic support, transport layer protocols, uh, radius and, and many other things, virtualization and so on. So that's a very large chapter. It's also a very large chapter on the exam as well. Uh, host and application security. So whereas enterprise security is focusing more on the network as a whole and how all the elements interact, application and host security is focusing on a single specific computer, a local host. Uh, security analysis, being able to scan the network and look for vulnerabilities and weaknesses and then of course taking that a step further and finding out can I penetrate those weaknesses. So of course vulnerability assessments, pen testing here, but also from the perspective of just staying um, uh, aware of what's going on in your network. Risk. Everything starts with risk. And this is a very big chapter, uh, as well it should be, because every single decision you make in regards to network security is going to have its origin in risk. And we're going to talk about the significance of cost-benefit ratios and the fact that there is no security for the sake of security. Security is only important as it supports the business. And that's what the risk domain is all about. How we evaluate our assets, how we look at threats and vulnerabilities, and how we apply a cost-effective solution for mitigation. All right, after you do a risk analysis within your organization, you become aware of the threats and vulnerabilities, mitigating strategies, then it's time to write policy. And policy comes, of course, from senior management, kind of a broad statement of a company's uh, commitment to security, and policy would give way to standards, procedures, baselines, and guidelines. We'll talk about each of those, and really you could kind of sum this up as thinking about IT security governance. And then the last section we'll talk about is organizational security. Once again, kind of taking all of these pieces and integrating them to support the security missions of the organization. So we do have these seven domains um, that we'll be covering. Generally speaking, if you were to pick out any one of these domains, the biggest ones to focus on would be enterprise computing, host and application security, and risk. Those would be the ones that I would focus on the heaviest. All right, so moving along, the very first chapter that we're going to cover is cryptography. And we'll talk about some basics of cryptography, cryptographic tools, and uh, the various concepts of how they all come together and work. 